RBS5 is a commission that I've got. It'll be another rolling ball sculpture made from copper. It'll hopefully look slick, be reliable, and also something a little bit different. The unusual feature of this sculpture will be how I get the balls from the bottom to the top. And coming out of the base, there will be a rotating vertical pusher that will push balls up a curved slope. Hidden within the base will be all sorts of beams and brackets that are designed to hold the large aluminium bearing in place. But the outside surfaces will hide all of this. The vertical pusher will be attached to the bearing using an aluminium support block and the purple items are to position and support the centre circle that most of the tracks will be supported from. Remember the central circle does not rotate, only the vertical copper pusher. I've got quite a lot of woodwork to do and also I need to design and manufacture a suitable method of rotating the bearing. When it's finished it will be on display at the MAD Museum in Stratford upon Avon. So, please subscribe to my channel to enjoy this build from start to finish with me. Right, let's get started. This will hopefully give you an idea about the curved slope idea. The ball will get pushed up the slope by the vertical pushing arm that moves around in a circle above the bearing. This was me kind of experimenting on slopes and just trying to work out how steep to make it and um, that'll come when I do some more maths. But the first job will be to protect the wood and uh, just give it a bit of finish. So I have chosen antique oil, natural colour. So let's get a few coats of that on. There's the four sides all done. I've got nice strong timbers on the inside of each one. And the next job will be to attach it into the square box. So it will be like that.
The amazing thing about the laser cutting is it does make it square and it does make the circle circular and there's no way I could make this by hand so you know I'm really pleased that I've now got a nice strong square um, box. I'm going to put some radius on here so I've got a, a quarter inch and a half inch radius bit and I'm going to do a bit of flush trimming around the top just to square everything off before I do it. So I'm going to get the router out and make some sawdust. That's all the roundovers done. I think it looks really good. It's a nice square solid box but with softened edges uh, and that's a really nice blend of two features. I'm also pleased I did the slot. That looks really really cool and, um, and very good. So there's more finish to go, a bit more sanding to do, even more finishing to do and, and I'll do that in the next couple of days. The next job will be to take the bearing and to build the mounting system that positions the bearing exactly underneath the slot and also to fix the top in to the body so this basically are attached together but the bearing has a free way to float under underneath so i hope you understand what i'm doing and what my ambition is and the whole thing will end up pretty tall maybe uh 14 15 inches off the ground here and um that's how it's going to be so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye